Motor Vision Super Test. Dream cars pushed to the limit on the racetrack. At the wheel, a man whose family has written motorsport history. Matthias Lauder is the son of Formula One legend Nicky Lauder. Five sports cars, five different concepts, prices from 46 to 240,000 euros. Matthias Lauder puts them through their paces in eastern Germany on the Saxon ring circuit. Long straights, lots of curves, sudden hills, hidden dips, just the place to check performance. Matthias Lauder, 27 years old, successful in the German DTM touring car series and in GP2 competition, the series for future Formula One racers. He'll see what our five cars can deliver. The newest models of these sports cars would be out of reach for most of us, but second-hand they could be a dream come true. Lauder and his test team are dealing with sports cars of widely differing character, from 192, 500 horsepower. In the Lauder Super Test. The edgy all-wheel drive mid-motor Lamborghini Gallardo. The long-distance star, the Ferrari 575M Maranello. James Bond's Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. The power-to-weight miracle, the Lotus Exige. And today, the pedigree sports car from Porsche, the 911 GT3. The GT3, Porsche at its finest. Unbelievable performance, an amazing suspension, and at 13 liters, a respectable fuel consumption. Matthias Lauder is particularly looking forward to this test. Not even someone called Lauder has very often the chance to take the wheel of a race-tuned 911 GT3. With its classic rear engine driving the rear wheels, it's a car which demands top reflexes from its driver. The perfect machine, though, for a race driver with an instinctive understanding of traction and grip. For me, the Porsche, the GT3, is truly a dream car, because I don't think there's any other which is great on the race circuit, but also fine on the public highway. The GT3 is a ride without the limitation of ESP. 381 horsepower for only 1,428 kilos, 0 to 100 in only 4.6 seconds. You can really do some wild drifting in this car. True enough, and Lauda is loving it. Drifting is the joy of the calculated risk, but graceful and spectacular don't necessarily mean speed. This has nothing to do with chalking up lap times, this is simply fun. The street sports car, the 996 model. Typical, the headlights mocked as fried eggs, and the equally scorned rear spoiler. The GT3 generation was built from 2003 to 2005. But Matthias Lorde is not so concerned with design quarrels. For him, it's all about the drive. I actually like the Porsche design. It has a clear form, clean lines, and with a Porsche you hardly ever find a negative point, because the car is close to perfection. Okay, the spoiler is a bit weird, but the GT3 is a real sports car. You need a spoiler and you feel it when you're driving. Inside the GT3, it's race atmosphere pure. The RPM gauge has pride of place and the ergonomics are first rate. I like the Porsche cockpit a lot. The design is very strict but appealing. Good steering wheel too, very slim, so that you have a good feeling when you're driving. The seats are very, very good. You're way down low in the car and you have plenty of support when cornering. The Porsche motor, not much to look at, but what counts is an engine which runs well and that it does. It winds up well, gives plenty of power even at low revs, and on top of that the car has a great growling sound. All things considered, a really cool car.
The six-cylinder boxer motor produces a maximum of 385 newton meters of torque and permits a maximum speed of 306 kilometers an hour. The differential lock at the rear means traction rather than squealing smoking rubber. Taking the Porsche around a race circuit is a load of fun. Because the brakes work perfectly, the drivetrain is perfect too, and gear shifts are great. The steering is very direct and you can take the corners with feeling. The motor picks up the revs consistently and smoothly. The suspension is hard and taut. The rear motor presses heavily on the rear axle, giving grip in abundance. And the brakes, in this case ceramic discs worth 8,000 euros, allow stopping on the proverbial dime. The only complaint one could possibly make is that the Porsche is hard to drive when you're close to the limits. It takes a long time before the grip is lost, but when it does, it surprises. Without ESP, there needs to be an experienced driver at the wheel or a guardian angel trackside. You sit very snug in the bucket seats, even in fast corners you don't slip around, you see? With this car you can really have great fun. In the wet, what happens on a dry track comes earlier when it's wet. On a wet track, it's still fun to drive. Not having ESP means a lot of work for the driver. I had a few spins today with the Porsche. My conclusion? The Porsche is, all in all, the perfected sports car. On the race circuit, it's a joy to drive. You can go really, really fast. The brakes are excellent. They let you push hard. There's simply nothing to criticize about the Porsche. Except, maybe, the price. In 2004, new, it cost over 100,000 euros. But today, this GT3, with less than 30,000 kilometers on the clock, can be had for 70,000. That's hardly more than a new Cayman S, and so for Porsche fans, it's an appealing option. After all, the 911 GT3, even in the unloved shape of the 996 model, a true race car, but also street legal. And for the skilled driver, the chance to experience the ultimate drive. Coming up next in the Lauda Supertest, the Lamborghini Gallardo with its massive 500 horsepower and Matthias Lauda's final summing up only in Motorvision, the Motor Magazine. <laughs>